Hi, YouTube. This is uh, Burger414 here. And today I want to uh, demonstrate the uh, latest version of the Opera browser. Um, the latest version out right now is Opera 11 Alpha. Okay, and um, I'm sure most of you are wondering, Alpha? Well, what the heck are you using an Alpha for? I know there's there's a lot of bugs in the alpha version of anything, but amazingly enough, I find that there's not that many bugs in this version. So, uh, without any further ado, let's get started. We'll use the opera. Okay. Basically, it's like the same as the uh, last version, which was. Uh, Opera, well, the last version that I used was Opera 10.63, uh, but this here is Alpha <coughs> 11 Alpha. Excuse me, I'm a little bit under the weather, so my voice may sound a little funny to you. But uh, as you can see, I have it right here, 11 Alpha. Okay. So, uh, yeah. Uh, Alf, uh, Opera is pretty good. Uh, it, might, it might even be as good as Google, but like again, I have to point out that this is the Alpha version. Okay, so when the beta comes out or even the final version, whichever comes first, um, I'm pretty sure it'll probably be as good as Google Chrome. Okay, as you can see, this is their home page and it has a whole different layout. Okay. And uh, you can have an account, which I've already logged into that account. And of course, they use Google as their uh, main search engine. Okay, and you can customize your page of what it looks like. Okay, as you can see here, you can change the name of whatever categories you want on the page. Okay, or you can create a new tab. All right. This is the main homepage now for the Alpha, uh, for Alpha, and uh, you still have the speed dial function. Okay, you can program whatever uh, website you like to use on the speed dial. Okay, um, still has the same look. Okay, basic look, um, and of course you got your. Uh, Appearance, you can change your appearance or whatever, whatever toolbars you want, whatever buttons you like to have. Okay. Like so, you may uh, look to the whole web browser itself. Okay, and um, of course, you can uh, do your own settings as well. Everything is about the same. The only, diff only little differences I see right now is the, the portal homepage and um, <clears throat> and basically uh, I think it might just be a little bit faster too. Okay, so we're just going to kind of glance through these right now. Okay. Still has the Opera Turbo feature, as you can see down here. Okay. And all these fancy things here, your notifications that you can program yourself, configure yourself. Okay. Alright, so let's start uh, doing a little surfing here. Oh, one other thing I'd like to point out is that. When you are opening for the first time, it will import your bookmarks that you already have saved on your from your other browsers, and um, and plus they throw in a couple of their own, you know, suggestions as bookmarks like the Amazon.com, Axe.com, eBay, um, Kayak, um, you know, shopping uh, website, Wikipedia. Okay, so um, all right. Let's let's let me show you how fast this is. Uh, let's let's go to YouTube. And as you can see, 
and loads up instantly. Okay, very smooth scrolling. Okay, that's manually and even with the mouse wheel, it's very smooth. Okay, so there you have that. Okay, and it does support HTML5, and they also have WebM. So that's another feature, but that was also in uh, uh, 10.63. Okay, but um, yeah, it still it really supports that. But for those of you that don't know how to get the HTML5 feature here on YouTube, next to the um, address bar after the slash there, just type it in HTML5. Press enter. And you have the option to leave or, or try it out. Okay. But like I said, it does support HTML5. Um, here, I'll put 10.6 and up. WebM is available, etc. Okay. So let's go back and watch a video or two. Um, I like my TV logos. The only thing I don't like is like you have to, when you interact with something like this, you have to double click it. Whereas in the other browsers, you only click it once. Okay. And of course, you can change your resolutions and etc. Okay. Let's do another one. Let's see. Uh, well, let's do one of my videos here. Uh, let's uh, try... Uh, let's do this one, I guess. Okay. All right. So let's go somewhere else now. Let's go to another website. Uh, let's see. Let's go to see that. What's up, Cena Nation? Brian Tong here on Friday, November the twelfth, with all your gadgety goodness on Cena TV. First up, Windows Phone Seven is here, and we'll show you how the HTC HD Seven stacks up against up. other large touchscreen phones. Then the Buzz Report with Miss Molly Wood is covering the hottest stories in tech news, including Google giving out some. So as you can see, the video is nice and smooth. It's also ranked camo and holding guns. And High resolution. I will be watching. And with the holiday season just within reach, we'll show you one of our favorites okay. in the GPS space with the Garmin New G3790. So basically, that's it. That's the uh, new upper. 11 alpha and uh, I don't have any idea when they're going to come out with a, a beta version or a final version but uh, this is available now and you can uh, download it at opera.com okay I'll uh, put the link in the description but uh, we can even go to if you go to the home page the link is right down here opera.com you click that and you have the option to download it okay so basically that's it um, thank you for watching this is burger 414 signing out happy surfing